Right, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use um, Easel, uh, which is made by Inventables. It's a piece of um, web-based um, CNC software, which you can use to uh, design design um, whatever you want to make on your CNC. It's a really simple to use piece of software, and uh, if you're just starting out, uh, it's probably definitely worth a look. And uh, the files from this, the G-code files, uh, work straight out of the box, so there's no messing around editing files. So first off, um, you need to select the material type you, you're using, and there's various different types of material. Obviously, if the material you're, you're using is not in here, use something which is a similar density. Uh, so I'm using acrylic, uh, and then here you've got the bit size. So you've got um, various sizes here in inches um, or you can come down here and select other and you can uh, put the size in. I'm using a 0.8 millimeter end mill so that's what I've selected. And then in cut settings um, you've got the feed rate and the plunge rate and the depth of pass so um, on each pass it will um, cut 0.4 mil depth. Uh, you can adjust this to how you want it, but uh, I found these settings to work reasonably well. So I've got 140 um, millimeters a minute there, and 100 millimeters a minute for the plunge rate, and 0.4 mil for the uh, depth of pass. So that was the cut settings, um, bit size, and then you need to here you can put the uh, material dimensions in. So you can um, put whatever size um, dimension of material that you've got in your um, CNC in here. I'll set it to 60 by 30 by 3 mil because I want to cut a key ring out within that size. So that's what I'm, I've got it set at. Here, in this box here, this is where I'm going to create the design. And uh, what I'm going to do is first, is I'm going to come up to the top here. And there's this part here where you can click and it will create a square. So I'm going to use this to actually cut the uh, key ring out. And then I'm going to build the design of the uh, key ring within this box. And then I'm going to select this as an outline. And the material is 3mm deep, so I'm going to select it to cut to 3mm deep, so it cuts all the way through. And then when you select uh, the maximum depth down the bottom here will come up with um, the tabs that will um, you'll create so the piece is held in place while you're cutting it and it will just leave a few tabs in place so it doesn't um, work around on its own and you damage the piece uh, with the cutting tool so here I'm going to select these at one millimeter deep and then they'll easily snap off and the actual length of the uh, tabs, I'm just going to set to two millimeters. And we have four of them. And then down here, you can see the little yellow tabs here. I'm going to go in and just uh, move these so they're all. in the places where I want them. And they're quite hard to uh, snap out if you put them in the corners I've found so I'm just going to put them here, here, here and here. You don't need, you can use as many as you want, it's up to you. Right so the design that I'm going to use, I'm going to use one of these icons to uh, for the design. So I'm just going to come in here and see what design I want. But you can make your own up, you can uh, take a photo and then use the um, outline application which is uh, in this software as well. So I'm just going to use this here. 
and then scale it down so it will fit So that is, I've just scaled that to the size. <coughs> now I'm just going to use the uh, circle tool up here and I'm going to use this to make the uh, hole for the uh, key ring to go through. I'm just going to scale that down and then put this on here somewhere. Okay, there. And then the box on the outside, I'm just going to select that again. And then you've got uh, two pages here. You've got cut and shape. If you click shape, and then you can um, put a corner radius in. So I'm going to put three mil in here, and then it will round the corners for us. So the cut is 3mm so it will go all the way through the material. So I've had to move this out of the way because I'm having a bit of trouble selecting this bit. Um, so the actual engraving, I'm just going to go go to um, 0.5mm deep, actually 0 04 because you don't want to go too deep, if not it will take forever to cut. So now I'll put the put this back over the top. Just like that, and then uh, I think that's complete. So the part where you put your keychain through, you need to um, the cut needs to be all the way through the material. And yeah, everything's okay there. And then to output the um, G-code file, you need to come up here to machine, and then have it on X-carve. Uh, don't really need to worry about the work area because we've. Uh, made the piece to the size what will fit on the machine and then you want the spindle control to automatic and then RPM I'll just put 1400 but I don't think it actually matters what you put in there and then you just need to click advanced and then just leave everything here as it is and then just go generate g-code and then export the g-code and that will save it to your downloads or wherever you want to save it so I've done that, I've saved the file and now I'm going to go over to the um, gerbil um, controller which is the g-code sender so I'm going to go and choose the file and there it is so now I'm just going to uh, go over to the CNC and I'll show you the time lapse of it uh, cutting the keyring out okay Okay, so here's that little key ring that I made, and it's came out really nice. So uh, obviously you can do a lot more with that easel software than I've done here today. This is just a uh, quick look at it, just to kind of show you how it works, and it'll work with the uh, desktop CNC from Banggood.com. I'll put a link in the description to it, and uh, also the um, end mills that I was using, they are the 0.8mm end mills, these here, I brought these from Banggood as well, I'll put a link in the description to them, okay. So yeah, I'd just like to say thanks for watching, uh, please um, rate this video, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, uh, please comment below and let me know what you think, 
and uh, also subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos in the future. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.